a few years going a few years ago when I was in high school, senior year, I was so excited going into college. I was like, this is a chance for a fresh start, make new friends, all the opportunities that I'd heard about that college could bring. But because of financial issues, I ended up going to the University of New Hampshire. And anybody that's from New Hampshire knows that everybody in their families goes there. It's just an easy school, it's a great school, but it was simple, it was close. Despite the circumstances, I still intended to make college the experience I had always dreamed of. However, after about a year and a half, I joined multiple student orgs, I had made many friends, but it just still didn't feel like the right fit. So last spring, I started commuting, and since then, my days have been full of driving, classes, and usually finished off the night at my part-time job. My life had become all work and no play, and that is what brought me to Boston this semester. The only time I had ever come to Boston was for a sporting event or a concert, and those 24 hours had honestly felt like enough. The large buildings, <coughs> groups and crowds of people, and the confusing transportation system made me very skeptical for the semester to come. I remember a move-in day. Me and my dad had just finished unpacking our car. We were at lunch, and we're sitting there, and I look at him, and I was like, Dad, I can't do this. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. And he just smiled at me and he was like, oh yeah, okay. And knowing that I was gonna quit two hours in, and I also knew there's no way he was gonna help me repack the car after we just spent two hours <laughs> loving everything out. So I stuck with it. And the weeks to come surprised me more than I could have imagined. Um, me and my roommates got along really well. My apartment felt like a home. I had made many connections with some of the other fellows in the cohort and things started to fit. One of my favorite activities from this semester was on the weekends, me and my roommate Chelsea would go for long walks around the city. And long walks, it was like five to six miles, like, it was crazy. And through exploring the city by foot, I realized it wasn't as big or as scary as I had always thought. And it, was, it only ended up taking me a few weeks before I could stop using Google Maps to get to work. I'm not one to do a lot of self-reflection, so it wasn't until a few weeks ago when I went home for Easter break that I realized just how much the semester had impacted me. Something I missed when I, come to when I came to Boston was driving. It was something that always brought me independence, just to be able to get in my car and go. And so that weekend when I went home, that's what I did. I got in my Honda Civic, and I was driving around my hometown, and I didn't feel that sense of freedom anymore. I felt isolated and confined. And in that moment, I realized that I'd miss the rustle and bustle of taking the tea that made every trip into the city an adventure from start to finish. Home, no, no, home didn't feel comfortable anymore. Boston had. And so as I headed into my senior year at UNH in the fall, one of the semesters, one of the goals I had this semester was to figure out my career path. And let's just say three months was not nearly enough time to figure that out. And so I don't know what I'm going to be doing after graduation, but I know that whatever path I choose, I hope it leads me out of my comfort zone like this semester did. And so I encourage you all, just like I did, to stretch the boundaries of your comfort zone because sometimes the most uncomfortable paths can lead to the most beautiful destinations. Thank you.